So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. This is really nice, like, really, really good production quality here. You gotta hit us up to get a pimped out ride. That's what? Hey, this is actually really... Wait, I haven't seen this video in a while. Are these, uh... Are these cloud swords from Final Fantasy? Damn right. Yo, what it do, everybody? It's your boy, Filthy Frank, the professor. Today we got a special... Hey, no, 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 no. You, not yet. Get back. Can we start over again? You know we like to cuss. Oh my god, wait. I'm just now realizing. Because I went back and I looked at like all this Pimp My Ride stuff. Dude, I didn't even realize any of this stuff. This is a parody of Pimp My Ride. I mean like, it, obviously it is, right? But you don't realize like just how well thought out everything is. Because that's what people were doing in the show. Like a lot of it was scripted. It was A lot of it was... Oh wait, no, 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 this thing can't happen. Let's do it again, let's do it again, or stuff like that, you know? Customize, we do, we do all kinds of wheelchairs. Today, we got, we got a very special guest coming through. Why don't you come out? My boy Wheels, man. So what would you say your main concerns are? What, what do you want us to fix, and why? My main concern. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting, that's an interesting thing. Because, and this is part of the brilliance of the original show, they realize the fact that, like, yeah, cars can be interesting, but the vast majority, like, the mass, mass audience doesn't care about cars. They don't care. So if you ask them, hey, we want to fix up your car. We want to do stuff to your car. What are you, what are you interested in doing to your car? But like, I don't know. I don't really care. And if you get the audience of people who will go, oh, bro, I want to, this kind of engine, I want to, first of all, it's going to be very expensive to do all those things. They never replaced any of the engines and that stuff because it was always very expensive. So they just did cosmetic mods and stuff. So the cars would usually break down and all that. But for narrative purposes, for appealing to the masses, all people would do was just say things that they're interested in. They'd be like, oh, I like Legos. And they'd fill their car with Legos or something like that, you know? That's what it always was. So it's like, that's... A really interesting approach. Is I need more pussy. You need pussy. Need like he literally asked. He literally asked. Like, this is falling apart. Cause he he just said, okay, what do you want us to do to your wheelchair? And he's like, I just need pussy. Totally unrelated. And that's what people do in the show. They talk about things that are completely unrelated to their car. I need more pussy, man. I want more pussy. I need it. I can't live without it. Like my bottle. Of like my bottle of liquor right here, I just need pussy to survive, bro. Bro, what's been going on with wheels lately, bro? This dude's, this dude's like, he should make content. I'm going to college. Wheels is an upstanding, upsetting citizen. Upsetting citizen. Except for one problem. He can't get any pussy. Not with that wheelchair. Yo, so how about you try, nigga girl? Nah, no thanks. Oh, this ain't bullshit, <laughs> nigga. Eat good so pussy. So stupid. This is so stupid. Why do they have such a, like, dramatic angle and this music? And they just found this, like, random chick to, like... Yeah, uh, <laughs> come on, I can take you somewhere you ain't never been before in your life, I promise you. Come on, yo. That's, you gonna, know, that's an Oscar-worthy performance. Had your ass in? Dude, imagine if... <laughs> It, to get the best performance, if I hired a girl to like play this role in this little skit that I was doing, to get the best performance, I would just have him do that. I would just be like, yeah, yeah, we paid this girl, and she's part of the thing, so just go to her and say all this. And you would just say it, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't preface that with anything. I would just find some random girl and tell him to go up to him. Tell him to go up to her. Oh, I promise you, it's something you'll never forget in your life. I'll make you cry, I promise. Nah, get out of here. What you charge? Anything you charge, I got you. All you gotta do is come... That's the thing. People who have physical disadvantages in life always learn to to come up on top um, with their words, with their charisma, for the most part, for the most part, right? They, they have to learn to be, you know, either funny or intelligent or, or like able to hang uh, or have like um, the ability to portray a sense of confidence and things like that. So it's like... 
even after all this, you'll still see, like, despite the fact that, it's not despite the fact that, it's because of his situation that he'll be able to always go toe-to-toe -to -toe with people. Like, it's people like this who you should be afraid of getting into roast battles with. Even though there's something very obvious to roast them about, they've probably heard everything about it and they probably have comebacks ready on standby. Sit on my lap real quick. Nah, come back to me when you got a better whip. Nah, I bet your dick don't even work. Nah, wheelchair, wheelchair niggas eat. It does though. It does. It still does. It's involuntary. You can't control it through like, um, you know, there's no like neural fiber recruitment. But never mind, never mind. Nah, you broke as fuck, no thanks. Why'd they just stop the music? Man, come on, man. Nah. It works fine though. All you gotta do is pull on it a little bit. <laughs> I don't wanna oh, man. Will Wheels end up getting the pussy he deserves? Let's find out. Damn it, man. Let me start off, bro. Your wheelchair game is whack. This is pure shit. What is this? Windows? What is this? Dell? Come on. No rims. No nothing, man. You roll down these streets and, and you let people see you like this? What is that, a golf ball? What is this, the 80s? Come on, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna roast your wheel game a little bit, man. What, what is this? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't fuck with the, the, the motors done. The, the, the wheels are bad. I fuck with the J's, though. The Thanks, J's man. mad nice. You know? Come on, man. What are you doing about shoes, bro? No, it, it's for research. He's supposed to be fixing my wheelchair, <laughs> no, man. What the heck? It's part of the research, man. What the heck? Bro, that's straight up exhibit energy, bro. That's, like, this is really actually, like, really intelligently made if you actually think about it man one i'm calling it bro one of these days joji's gonna like go back into this and acknowledge all of it and be like damn let me let me let me pop back into this for a sec you know he might make a couple more videos not anything like how it used to be but just like skits you know just skits you might make some of those you know maybe maybe i have hope i feel like I, I, I hope he's found peace in his life. I hope he's found peace and happiness in his life. And, um, like, I'm not, nobody's entitled to receive content from anyone. You know, people have their own lives to live. But on a personal level, I'm holding that hope. So, like, obviously, you're, you're uh, auditioning for Transformers 5. Hello, Wheels. How are you today? Man, shut the fuck up. Why are you talking to me like I'm retarded, bro? I'm just, I'm just a little nervous. I've never been around, uh, you know. What the fuck you mean? So I'm gonna ask you something, man. <laughs> uh, That's a brilliant cut. I'm gonna get Gatorade for a sec. Hold up. I've been dying to know since I met you. Sure. D does it work? Yeah, it works, man. It, it works all the time, 24-7. You know, sometimes it works too well out here. You know. So you can nut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's plenty of illegitimate children around here. Allegedly, allegedly. Y'all not getting no money from me, though. Don't Facts. Mm -hmm. I can You're respect that. First, folks. In, in, I in respect that. Are you still considered uh, African-American? What you mean, hood, my nigga? Like, uh, just wow. because I'm black don't mean I got to grow up in the hood. You know, I did, but <laughs> you, know, you shouldn't assume that, you know. Do African Americans still consider you African American? Fuck you, nigga. Yellow nigga. Listen, man, you're making me really <laughs> uncomfortable. So how fast would you say that this uh, abomination of a man? And they would make like a lot of race related jokes on the show too. That's crazy. And they would always have like back and forths, you know? Like I showed that in my like Pit My Ride um, review, which I'll leave in the description. Let me actually make sure I'll do that one sec. Sheen would go. I'd say about two miles an hour. What if I said we could get it up to 40 miles per hour? That's pretty impressive. That was very, very, very fast. How about this? We can turn your wheelchair into a bed anytime. Hell yeah! Do you know how much pussy you're gonna get, my man? Word! All types of pussy. Yeah, you love that pussy, don't black, you? Black pussy, white pussy, 
Asian pussy. Yeah, they were like hella focused on whatever the hell like the interest of the person was. They didn't care at all about the car. All them flavors, chocolate. All them different flavors, brother. I like them all. Uh, I like chocolate. We'll get some women to dome me up real nice. That's right. And 40 miles per hour. <laughs> no condoms, though. No yeah, condoms. This is a condoms, though. Wanna... Straight raw dogging. That's right. What, 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 whatever floats your boat, you know what I'm saying? I love to nut, brother. Woo! <laughs> How's your finger game? You gotta. Do women like that? See? Uh, and then, and then, and then. You know, and then I'll slide the dick in afterwards. You gotta get the finger game in there, but, but sometimes That's so loud. You just get stuck. So I gotta get the hook. Gotta get the hook right, you know? You gotta get the hook right, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You gotta get the water flowing first before that's you what, before you take that dip in the what, pool. That's you know what, what I'm saying? I'm saying. You, you understand me. We gonna be best friends, man. I told you that. We gonna be best friends, man. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for that fifteen hundred dollars. Mm. Uh, we'll be real good friends, man. <laughs> Oh my, no way. Wait, that's an incredible parody. I just, you know, I watch this and I'm like, oh, it's funny. They're like, I thought it was all like new skits, but maybe it might've been, but this is actually crazy how, how things line up like that because they would literally damage the cars and stuff like that. They would add on, they would tack on additional damages to the cars to make them seem worse before they entered the shop. You know, they mess up the seats, they tear things apart, and they do all that stuff before the cars enter the shop. So it seemed like a worse thing so they can transform it into something better, you know? It seemed like a, a better glow up. And that's literally what he's doing here. See how the smoke coming out? It's because the wheel's just broken. What, man? I've never seen it smoke you up like But in this way, it's so, this is genius because all the jokes are not directed at the audience. They're directed, they're shown to the audience, and they're directed at wheels. And the whole idea is, is make him the butt of the joke because he's disabled. And like, say what you want about dark humor or whatever, but narratively, that's really smart. You need, yeah, I know, right? You need, you need a new I don't think any of this was intentional. I think Filthy Frank was just being funny and just doing all this off the cuff, right? But it's like, this is solid, dude. He's like a genius storyteller. ASAP. What's the outcome for you? What What do you want when, when we get the faster wheelchair? All I care about is pussy, my dude. <laughs> I don't want no money. I don't want no no fame, no notoriety, nothing. All I want is to be neck deep in pussy, my brother. Yeah, why didn't anybody on Pit My Ride say that? They probably would have like put a stripper pole in their car and stuff like that, you know? They probably would have done some really cool stuff. So you don't care about getting on trains and getting on no, buses. That's, that's what we're trying to do. All that practical shit is, is for squares. Exactly. They don't care about practicality on Pit My Ride. I said it in the video. If somebody, if like, if I gave my car to Pit My Ride today, I would expect them to do things like, you know, strengthen the rod bearings and put a, a, um, you know, a better intake manifold, you know, upgrade it and, and, Put, maybe put a turbocharger or something like that. Um, do some weight reduction. Replace some aluminum areas with carbon fiber for weight reduction as well as for safety purposes. You know, things like that. These are the kind of things I would want now as a 22-year-old. But as a 12-year-old, I didn't care about practicality at all. And neither did Pit My Ride. The losers. All I want is my bottle of liquor and pussy, brother. I will fuck anything. I know girls that look down. like troll dolls. Girls with big old titties. So we'll run with, I mean, we'll roll with it. Fucking able body bastard, you <laughs> yellow motherfucker. We should buy me a third time. Listen, I'm trying to help you here, okay? Yellow bastard. You shut your mouth and, and leave. Now I'm going to address the, the elephant in the room here. Well, what's with the, the, the poo poo situation? There is no worse feeling than somebody wiping your ass that you don't know. Amen. I've had that before, for sure. And that's why we're gonna give you a toilet. You saw the way you looked at it. A blunt holder. Burr, I can roll the chronic while my wheelchair. That's a smart idea. That's a smart idea. I'm smoking while driving. Let me just put it to the side real quick. And then back to it. Oh, let me take another hit while I'm at the red light. And then just put it back. Right here, that's the one. Right now, we have a group of Chin Chin's henchmen. 
there's no good way to, there's no like blunt holder, there's no good way to actually smoke while driving. Where are you supposed to put it? You're supposed to keep holding it? You can't just like put it in the ashtray, it'll go out. Working on a brand new wheelchair and it's fast, it's gold, it's beautiful. Isn't that illegal to have slaves though? Asian nigga, yellow nigga. Oh shit, well, come on, let's, let's settle down. All right, so we're gonna <laughs> run a couple tests. Let's see you do a spin. Nice, very nice. Very nice. Can you do any wheelies or anything cool? <laughs> Woo! Woo! That's a spin. But I'll tell you what, we'll make it spin 10 times faster. Dude, these guys. I love that, brother. They made an abomination. Yeah, don't, don't worry. <laughs> this was so unnecessary to add to the video. Hey, Whoa, what happened to that car? Bro, where are they recording this? Nigga, race me for these shoes. You get me right now, you get this shit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. You broke ass nigga. Yo. Oh, boy, no. rolling, nigga. You need to get up and walk for these shoes. No. Man, fuck somebody up. park this nigga in the corner. Fuck up. Oh, my God. Dude, this is. There's like. There's setups, there's payoffs, there's a conflict, there's a protagonist, an antagonist. There's. This is like. This is the end of. Uh, no, this is the start of Act 2. So that was Act 1, that was a setup. This is the start of Act 2, where we see the conflict arising, right? This is genius. I'm gonna skip through it a bit. Wait, so that was okay so act two is very very short i think either this is the end of act two actually or just it extends out a little a little further but then nah no nah, actually yeah no nah. act three but well, we're almost there act three is when he shows off when he when he reveals you know the thing there is there a way to talk to these kind of people look at it there's like there's a this is hilarious. Like, I never realized I was laughing at like a lot of the other stuff when I was little, but looking back at it now, I'm like, all these jokes are so flawless. They're so flawless in terms of like creating a parody of a person, like as as filthy Frank. Damn, I can't do that. The level of like mental effort required to 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 dive this deep into this kind of character. That's just so out there. Process to this. I mean, do I just go and say hi? I don't want to like startle him. Do I? <laughs> no, he's not. Look at him. What the fuck took you so long? It's been like four hours. I'm sorry, man. I'm disabled, man. Learn how to drive, you. <laughs> leech. Absolute leech. Ah, there's. That's where the meme comes from. I'm Learn how to drive, you absolute leech! Trying. Wait, no, no, no. There's another part that. Hey, I'll, I'll say this. I'll, you don't know what hard it is. Yeah, I'm glad. You wanted a wheelchair. You put on a black glove? Okay, hold up. Yeah, Get man. off my wheelchair! Man, what the hell kind of place is this? Bro, I. I remember reading about this thing in Pit My Ride where the dude like didn't show much of a reaction. Like he was kind of disappointed when they revealed his car and they took the tarp off. And he's like, oh, uh, and then one of the like mechanic guys, right? Like the really fat dude or whatever, one of the mechanic, like the second in command or whatever, like took him and then like walked around the shop with like his arm and shoulder. And he's like, 
bro, you really gotta like, like we 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 put a lot of money into this, I, like the least you can fucking do is like react to it. and he's got all angry at him and stuff. I think this is coming from that. I think that the reason why it's funny is because he's just literally exposing the real stuff of what would happen, intentional or not. It did happen. Man, I'm scared. Man. Where it's like. You're going to see his reaction, and he's going to be ungrateful, and the dude is just going to get pissed. Man, you trying to kill me, man. You trying to take me out. Hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Great. Do you understand? This is, this is, no, nah, this is really on point. This is really on point. This part wasn't that funny when I was little, but now that I know what the deal was with Pimp My Ride, not when I was little. I mean, like, littler, you know, but... This is how much money I dropped with it. No, nah, this isn't super funny, but it's like it's real. It's essential. It's part of the storytelling. You think this is about charity? Because I don't fucking care about charity. <laughs> Take a spin more, Eddie. Hell yeah, man. Where are they recording this? How do they manage to do all this? See, that's actually. No, that looks terrible. Camera's out of focus. Wait, I, I realize this. Bro, they had a whole speaker system. Why didn't they play music through it? And then they put an aux there and everything. And then not only do they have a blunt holder, they have a phone holder on this side too. We got Cheetah Prince steering wheel. You see it right here in the mirror, boy. We got, we got neon lights looking like Neo Tokyo up in here. This boy gonna look like Akira, you know what I'm saying? You ever see Akira? Yeah. You know you, know you haven't. What happens in it? I forgot. Ah, I got him. <laughs> Fine, cheetah print floor. We got the whole floor. All nice and clean. Let me let me lick the floor to prove how clean it is. Ugh, we got we got rims. Oh. That's where I thought of that from. I thought of that so I was I was trying to make a commercial for someone. He has like a tire cleaner thing. Like a spray for like tire cleaner and wheel shine and he makes all kinds of products for uh like car cleaning stuff and i was like i was like let me lick the wheels to show you how clean it is and i never realized that's where i got it from i remember, I, I didn't i i knew i got the joke from somewhere else but i it just, i just put two and two together just now i didn't actually show myself licking the wheel i put you know that clip of spongebob like i put like spongebob and then green screen licking the wheel but that commercial never came out. Probably because it was a bit uh, unprofessional. We got rims, you know. We got custom engine. We got a custom battery. This ain't going nowhere. This that prime shit. You sure that shit is stable, man? Nah. Th More stable than you. You see, we... <laughs> we got luck. That's perfect. That's a perfect parody. Of Pimp My Ride. That is a perfect parody of Pimp My Ride. The dude is like, bro, what the hell is this? And they just make fun of him instead. Nice, we got an iPad. And most of all, like I promised, fine good old Cubano holder slash blunt. You ever have a Cubano before? You ever? Okay, what exactly is a blunt? Because that's, in my head I was, I was saying blunt, but I was thinking joint. And that's a cigar, right? So what's a, is a blunt, this, I know the blunt's not the same thing as a joint. I would imagine a blunt is bigger. But then I've never, have I ever seen anyone smoke a blunt then? Oh, backwoods are considered blunts, right? Okay, yeah, no, never mind. No, but, but it's still roll in the same way. I don't know, what is the difference? Hold up. I have a Cubano before. This thing, doesn't, this thing doesn't seem safe. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You electrocuting yourself, man. What do you want me to do, man? You trying to kill me? Maybe it'll shock you into walking again, huh? Shut the fuck up. My life is in your fucking hands, man. Yeah, these people's cars would break down and stuff. Like, they, their cars could have exploded. Hold up.
Oh, and a spliff. I forgot about that, too. Joints or crushed cannabis rolls. Roll in thin paper of some sort. Blunts or roll in tobacco. So, okay, backwards are blunts then. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, wait. Then are cigars... Are there such things as like weed cigars? I'm sure there are. And those are also blunts technically then. Not much of a life, that's that's for sure. <laughs> Let's get in the car, okay? Oh. That was a good joke too. See a ox like that's pretty smart. To put that on a wheelchair, that's pretty smart. Take this bad boy for a spin? Yeah, man, but what the fuck? I can't reach the pedals or anything, man. How am I supposed to drive? This ain't safe, bro. What's the problem? I can't reach the pedals with my feet, bro. If you haven't noticed already, I'm disabled, man. I can't this, reach my This part has nothing to do with my Ride. This is just making fun of disabled people. Hey. Now you can reach the pedal. No, I can't. You can. Try it out. You idiot. Reach the pedal. Do it. You idiot. I can't reach the pedal. What the fuck? I swear to God. <laughs> there we go. You just got to bring your arm back. Now you're Damn, Every time they do something, I keep like that. I keep thinking about how like the show was hella scripted in very similar ways. All right. <clears throat> Not really easy to look at, isn't it? But I. This chair is wobbly and unsafe, man. You see how many times I fell off this thing? Wow. You sick motherfucker! How the fuck do you want me to do Anything that? else, princess? Now you're, now you're gonna drive. Everything's safe. Taped up. A chair that I, I can't do this shit no more. Man. Shut up, wheels. We're doing this. Man, you promised me a pinch out of No, ride. we're doing this. I now. Do this anymore. Man, no, yeah. Oh, fuck. This is your fault. Didn't you make this piece of shit, man? Oh, we're pointing fingers now. Okay. You He's asked to do that because he can't hit the gas pedal himself. They literally made it a go. They literally required that you hit the gas pedal. There's planes. What the hell are they doing? Wait, so Filthy Frank got a whole crew. There's a, that's a that's a boom mic guy. Is that a light that fell off? Something like that. Overall, great, great wheelchair. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, man, that's great. Shut up, I don't. This is like torture for him. Okay. It's a little too great. <laughs> Oh, he did use the speakers in the thing. So I guess they they did the they did the whole deal. What could this be? This it's probably a this might be a parody of no, it's not intentional, but this might unintentionally be a parody of when Exhibit like stole that car on the show. Uh, if I'm not like you know making that up. Wheelchair nigga, wait, what the fuck? That's wheelchair Jimmy? No. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. They have all this like. 
<laughs> all this like comedy dispersed and then it ends with like textbook storytelling. I'm sorry about that. That's that. Damn, that boy smacked me. He got 22 inch rims. I'm all black Yeezys, no, man. I love no, them no, shit. Not the Yeezys. Not the 350 pirate black dead stock. You <laughs> <laughs> put a picture of it on you. I can't take him off. You I can't take him off. Yo, where my bitch at, man? I don't want her to come sit on my face and eat some ride. Wow, this is like everything. He, he, you know, slays the dragon and gets the princess at the end of the day. It's like white picket fence lifestyle from here, you know? Hey. How you doing, baby? <laughs> I think what you did back there was pretty brave. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. Glad you want to sit on my face really quick. Yeah, I did. Absolutely, okay. absolutely, yeah. That was sexy ass. I can't believe this shit. In about two days, I wasn't having no whip to having a great one. And a bitch, too. I can't wait. Yo, that's... This is like, this is making me tear up, bro. This is a, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. This is a perfect parody. Oh, 19 million views. Yeah, obviously, of course. I've watched it like 20 times. 